If you want the best setup for destroying the brand new police chest in Pet Simulator 99, you need to use the three enchants that I'm about to show you. And you will not believe how big of a difference it really makes using just one of these enchants in your setup. I've tested over 15 different loadouts for destroying this new police chest, and today I'm going to be revealing the overall best strategy and additional tips for you to do even more damage. And halfway through testing, Big Games put out a huge nerf for the chest, increasing its overall health and its respawn timer. So unfortunately, I had to go through and retest everything, but I've got the information for you. Now, these police chests are fantastic for getting keys, and on top of that, also just give a ton of drops. So making sure that you're doing the most damage possible to these chests is extremely important. So without further ado, let's get into what you're going to need in order to do this. And really quickly, I'm pushing to be a partner with big games and apparently you need 50,000 subscribers. So if you guys could help me get closer to that by hitting the subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. But besides that, here we are in update 13 with the brand new police chest. And I didn't really feel like I needed to make a whole video for this update alone because there really wasn't too much content. This room right here is pretty much the bulk of everything that was added to the game. The only other thing I should probably mention is just the new exclusive egg. So that's probably the other biggest thing that we got in this update. Not bashing the update at all. I just wanted to say that really quickly. But this police chest right here is a big game changer for this update and how pretty much everybody in the game is going to be grinding going forward. Now, if you didn't know already, this police chest drops a absolute ton of drops every time you break it. Included in those drops are the prison keys that we need for the clan event to get points, as well as open all of the cells and potentially get that prison cat. So because this is the new best area, you actually really can't avoid actually destroying this chest because your pets are just going to start attacking it even if you don't want them to. And it's really important that you actually use a setup like this because if you don't, your pets are just going to get stuck destroying this chest forever and you're not going to be getting any of the breakables around it because they're just going to be focused on that main chest. So this is why the traditional grinding builds just aren't going to work on this chest. But thankfully for you guys, I have went through and tested pretty much every single combination of enchants you could use to try to destroy this thing and it's actually more simple than you probably think now this loadout is a setup of just three different enchants but each one of them are super important in their own way now i never thought i would have said this is going to be the main part of a loadout but it turns out for this update the tap power nine is actually going to be the base of what you're going to want to use to destroy this chest absolutely quickly now according to big games api the max amount of power that you can use without diminishing returns is going to be 1920 percent and as you guys can see here each of these tap power nine books actually give you 800 percent meaning that you can use basically like two and a half tap powers but because tap power nine is so powerful we're actually going to be using three in our setup here now later in the video i will show you a free to play setup if you don't have these three slots so don't worry about that but for now we're just going to use all of the slots we have now if you are being proactive you actually can just go ahead and empower one of these tap power books and by doing that you are going to hit the 1920 percent without needing a third book at all so if you wanted to be proactive and go ahead and empower one of these enchants every eight hours then you actually could do that and have an extra slot to use one of these other enchants that i'm about to show you but it is super crucial that you are hitting that 1920 percent because that actually is going to be the bulk of the damage that you're doing with this new setup and if you haven't used tap power before there's probably a couple things i should explain to you and the number one thing for that is basically just going to be that the damage that you do by tapping is going to be determined by whatever your best stat pet is still so for this reason is why it is still super important to get a very good stat pet because this is going to determine how much damage you're going to be doing with this build now i could probably get a better stat pet but right now they're very expensive so i haven't invested in one but i think by early tomorrow it should be more affordable to get ones that are better than this but for now i'm actually pretty happy with how much damage i'm doing with the rainbow police dog but whatever the best step pet that you can get is what you should be using for sure 
And on top of this, also using an auto clicker, even if you do have auto tap, is going to be super important because using an auto clicker, you can go much quicker than the auto tap actually does. The auto clicker I use is OP Auto Clicker 3.0. I've pretty much used this for years, so this one's just the easiest to me because it's just very simple. And then make sure you set it on one millisecond click time because this is going to enable you to click super fast. I think by default, the auto clicker has it on like 100 or 200 milliseconds, so setting it to one does increase your speed by a ton. Here is how it looks on one millisecond of auto clicking. And then if we go ahead and turn off the auto clicker and then turn on auto tap, you can see how much slower auto tap is than an auto clicker. So when you are using a build that is centered around tap power, it is definitely worth it to be using an auto clicker to speed up how quickly you're actually tapping. But with the tap power, you're just gonna wanna make sure you're hitting that 1920% tap power cut. And then on top of that, you're using a good stat power pet as well preferably at minimum this rainbow police dog and then using an auto clicker with a one millisecond click time is going to enable you to do a ton of damage to this chest and next up is going to be another very surprising enchant that i never thought would go into a loadout like this but believe it or not the nightmare orb is going to be the second part of this three-part setup that you're going to need to do absolutely the most damage to this chest for the purposes of this build we're going to use four of these books now the nightmare orb is pretty self-explanatory of course just like with the tap power books, having a strong stat pet is going to enable these to do quite a bit of damage. And you're just going to want to sit inside here and you could see already how fast this chest is going down. So by using as many nightmare orbs as you can after you hit that 1920% tap power enchant cap is going to be a huge factor in letting you absolutely destroy this thing. And once this chest is broken, you could see how much damage this thing is doing to the breakables around it. So it's also doing quite a bit of work in that way. And keep in mind with what you're watching, this is with no stat pets at all, which are going to be adding a ton of extra damage. So even with just these two enchants we have on right now, we're able to pretty much destroy this chest pretty good. I also don't have my boost maxed out either, so that could also be contributing to it as well. Now, I believe before the update came out today, these were sitting at around 10 million diamonds, and now they are at 17 million. But make sure you stay till the end of the video because I'm going to explain how you can actually win some of these nightmare orbs for yourself so you don't have to go and server hop and try to find some. But once you guys have these two enchants in your loadout, the third and arguably one of the more important enchants that you're going to want to use for your setup is going to be this corruption enchant. Now, hopefully you listened to my investment advice that I gave you just a week ago, where I basically said that you should probably invest in some of these corruption enchants because I thought it was going to be likely that we would see some sort of event where doing a lot of damage to one big breakable would come in handy. And sure enough, this did happen. So this corruption enchant is now selling for about 120 million, which is crazy because I think when I suggested for you guys to buy this, it was just at 10 million. Honestly, it was probably less than that too. And even if it was just that 10 million, that would still be a 12x on your investment. So shout out to those of you who actually watched the video and bought some of these for yourself. That would have been a very good investment coming to this update now. But the reason why this book is so good for this chest is that essentially when you hit one of these breakables you get a chance that you turn it corrupted which allows you to do even more damage that you were doing before so by combining this corruption enchant with this loadout that i already gave you you're actually multiplying the damage as long as it procs on the chest when you're destroying it now the only problem that i have with the corruption enchant is that it is kind of luck based whether or not corruption decides to actually proc on the chest if the corruption effect actually doesn't happen on the chest at all, it is kind of a useless enchant. So sometimes the corruption doesn't happen to the breakable at all. And when that happens, it turns out the corruption enchant is pretty useless. But when it does proc, it can proc up to three times. And when the corruption is procced three times, it does a lot of extra damage. Now to demonstrate, I do have to pull out my pets because for some reason, corruption procs a lot more if you do have your pets equipped. So just tapping it alone without pets isn't going to make the corruption pop up too much. But as you can see, even with just one proc of corruption on this chest, I was doing a lot more damage than I was doing previously. And I would say about half the time when you are breaking the chest, you are going to have about two to three procs of the corruption. 
so you're going to be doing even more damage. And overall, that is pretty much it for the setup. Personally, I'm definitely going to want to be able to pick up all of these drops and stuff, so I'm going to use a super magnet with it. But if you just wanted to be able to break the chest as much as possible and get as many keys for your clan, then I guess just using another nightmare orb instead of a super magnet would help you out with that. Now, if you are free to play and don't have these last three slots, I would still make sure that you have the max amount of tap power as possible and then use a setup like this. So one corruption, two nightmare orbs, and then three tap power books. And by using the enchants in this order, you're able to maximize the effects of all of them combined. So now all of these enchants come together to be the ultimate machine for destroying these police chests. If you want to win some of these nightmare orbs for yourself, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like the video, and then comment your Roblox username and then some sort of sentence that uses the word tap in it. And then I'll be giving out some of these nightmare orbs to some of you guys that comment that below. Now, in terms of using pretty much any other enchant, I've tested most of the ones that you can come up with. For example, I tested using lightning orbs instead of the nightmare orbs, and these were significantly less effective than the nightmare orbs were. As well as the lightning orb, I also tried out using criticals, the chest breaker enchant, as well as super lightning for tapping. Through all my testing, this was the fastest setup that I could find. And pretty much using anything else just slow down my time to destroy the chest, even the fruity enchant. Now the major downside to using this loadout is that you have to be in the main area. To use this enchant loadout, you literally have to be standing here in the main area with your auto clicker on, which means you can't be over here opening the egg trying to get this new huge cat or get the active huge at all. So if you are looking to open the egg while farming this area, Pretty much the only setup that you can use is this, which is just a modified version of the setup that I showed you in last week's video. You're basically just going to want to optimize it for damage. Now this setup basically just maximizes the amount of damage output that you're going to be able to do, but by not tapping the chest at all, you are definitely slowing down your ability to break it, and it's going to take a while for your pets to just destroy it by itself. But at the moment, this is currently the best I could come up with for an egg opening build. I will update you guys in the comment section if this does change at all. Now in terms of ultimates, pretty much anything that does damage is going to be useful. For one, the tsunami ultimate seems to be pretty decent decent at doing a lot of damage to this chest but pretty much any ultimate that does damage is good so using this tnt shower is another one i've been using but two of the ultimates you're gonna want to stay away from right now are gonna be the nightmare and the lightning storm now i think this is due to a glitch where these two are just not working in this final area for some reason so maybe by the time you're watching this video that will be patched and be working again but for now it seems like these just don't spawn at all when you use them but the Tsunami as well as the TNT Shower both do. So those are two good options for you to use instead. And then really, I can't emphasize enough, just getting a really good stat pet is going to enable you to do a lot more damage to all of the breakables surrounding this and the chest itself. And if you do all of these things that I suggest to you, you'll be making a ton of item drops like this, as well as getting a ton of keys for your clan. And if you guys didn't know, in this update, we got access to this prison Preston, which allows you to come over here and combine 10 of your regular prison keys into a golden prison key. And you can also do this in bulk with all of your prison keys that you have. Now, I've already done this before, and I'm already back up to all of these keys. So now I have a total of 1,100 golden keys, and I'm not sure if Big Games went ahead and changed the odds of getting the huge from these cells, but I'm pretty sure it's like a 1 in 300 chance with the golden key to get it from one of these chests, which basically means I should be able to get almost four huges if I go ahead and use all these golden keys. Now, thankfully, there is a way to automate these golden keys now, so if you want me to make a video about that, I can, but that's definitely a topic for a whole nother time. If this video helped you guys out, remember to give it a like and subscribe to help me reach the goal of becoming a partner in this game. And on top of that, join my Discord for daily huge giveaways that are still going on as well as probably the best pet simulator help community. I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out.